All right, this is the Barska Biometric Safe, uh, or Fingerprint Safe. Got this off of Amazon. Uh, just want to go over what you get when you're buying this type of safe. Just to, uh, if you're in the market for one of these, just to know kind of size differences, say, between this Barska, say, RPMB. RPMB safe, they say, is a five rifle safe. This, is they say, is a four rifle safe. Uh, with an asterisk there. Uh, when it comes to the RPMB, you can put five normal sized rifles in there or AKs without their magazine. There's one slot for uh, for an AK you can on the left side, stick it in there and be able to get a magazine. The rest of the magazines need to be removed. Now with this safe, I'll show you a little bit later on and how that functions with these two ARs. So when you first get the safe, I just want to go maybe go over the, sh the shape that it came in uh, from Amazon. As you can see right here, the worst of it is going to be a little dent right up here, but everything else is in good shape, so no problems there. The finish uh, has a very high gloss finish on here, but it feels very durable, so I'm not too worried about that. So when you get the safe, you'll notice it comes with this little box here, and you'll wonder what this is. This is an external drive here, so you just put your four AA batteries, and you can stick it in here. There's a little sticker here that says when the safe is brand new, any fingerprint should work. So that's one way you could get in there. Uh, just, it does come with four batteries as well. Or you can use the backup barrel keys. Simply remove the screw down here, and then you'll be able to access. Unlock it from there. This one's already been reprogrammed. So let's show you one thing that you can fortunately turn off is, is this noise. So it is a very... Horrible noise, very loud, so I'll show you how to turn that off later. Uh, as you can see internally, it comes with a little storage rack up here. This is removable, uh, so I'll show you how to remove this. Two little screws, and that's easily removed. Here is the battery slot right there. Just put your batteries in there. You'll hear a beep, and that's how you know you're good to go. I'll show you how to reprogram the safe. Uh, best practices for programming it. Uh, I'll go over all that for you and just uh, just a good overview of what you get when you get this safe. All right, so we'll just go over some of the stats, what you get when you buy this Barska safe. Uh, with a biometric scanner, you can store 120 fingerprints in that scanner. The battery should last, they say, for a year. The four AA battery should last for a year uh, and be able to operate the safe 10,000 times before you should need to change the batteries. But you should probably do that earlier if you are using it and maybe every six months just for security factors. If if you are using this as your type of uh, defensive safe. If it's your storage safe, just let it rip. Um, now, when it comes to the bolts, there's three bolts on the Barska. This is a 5 8 bolt, quite a bit of play in the mechanism. They do disperse their bolts, one on each side there, one on the very bottom. Uh, now, with the RPMB, you get five bolts on just one side, a bit thicker bolts, and they don't have as much play as you see over here. So, uh, like I said, 14 gauge steel construction for the actual box. Uh, so, you know, not the most, uh, not the safest of safes, more like a, a uh, gun cabinet. It looks like a safe. You'll probably want other security measures if you're using this uh, as an actual safe safe. Uh, one good thing is with these that you can hide them pretty easily. So that is a good feature. But as you can see, the size differences and the prices are on the same considering this isn't a biometric safe. You do see save a little money in there and able to get a bigger safe with RPMB. But if you like that biometric scanner, uh, and then this is a safe for you, I suppose, especially in this price bracket. So everything on here, the fit and finish looks really good. Size maybe a little bit of movement, as I said, in these bolts. But it comes in around 62 pounds, so it is a little bit more easy to move around, maybe hide it in a closet or some place behind a door in a pantry, something like that. Would be a good little security measure for this type of safe. And let's go over to the biometric scanner and see how well that functions. So on Amazon, as you see here, it says it opens in 2.5 seconds. It also says it opens in 1.5. So uh, we'll see officially how fast it opens. Here we go. There we go. Open pretty quickly. I didn't get my finger on there too well either. So I'm glad it's still open. It seems like it doesn't have a moment where you need to let it load. You can just put your finger right on there. There you go. So that's how quickly it opens. All right, so I'm going to show you my best settings and also how to reprogram the safe effectively so you'll have a more reliable experience. Uh, now, there's two ways of getting into the safe when you first get it. Any fingerprint should work when you first get the safe uh, when it's brand new. Now, it comes with this external battery box. It does come with four AA batteries as well. There's a little access hole down here. 
simply plug that in and hit the button one time, put your fingerprint in there and it should open. Now I went ahead and just used this little hex nut. They, they provide you with a hex and I unscrewed this little bolt down here and then you'll get the barrel keys they provide you. Simply put the key in, there you go, and you're in. Now, um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you how to reprogram the safe. Uh, back here, it's gonna be a little nub thing to take that off. Nub, nipple, whatever. Hit the button one time, you'll see it light up. Hit it in there once, hit it again. Now you're gonna wanna keep repeating this process over and over again in multiple directions. Maybe build up a little sweat on there as well. So just keep putting the fingerprints in there and you should have a reliable experience. Now, you might be hearing that noise. And you can turn that noise off as well. Thank God. So use the same button you used to reprogram. Push down. Now we're gonna press for 15 seconds and the light should come, the two green lights will come on. And your ears will thank you because now it is completely silent. So those are how to reprogram and best settings, at least for me. All right, we're going to be testing the biometric scanner to see how well it functions. Uh, I've already scanned my middle finger to uh, accept my fingerprint. I'm warming this finger up for uh, some sweaty finger action later on. So let's see how well it handles just your standard operations. That open just fine. Do it again. Nope. There we go. I put that at a little bit of an angle just to see how well it would handle it. It didn't go through the first time, but if you just place it nice and flat, it's doing a good job. So far, so good. I think uh, Lucky Gunner had one of these about four or five years ago. They said it was like a 65% opening ratio. So far it's functioning well as long as it's put flat. I'm trying to, so like I said, if you watch the, uh, the other segment and how to program it, just make sure you have multiple angles so far it's handling everything really well. Perfect. Just trying to give you an idea exactly how well the scanner is performing. Let's see if we get a tip. That's probably because I didn't scan that. Let's go ahead and open it up and scan that part. So this is what you're supposed to do to make sure. Let's scan just the tip. So just kind of, you know, when you get the safe, just try to get as many possibilities that you might do i just saw a scenario there where i feel like i should probably reprogram it for the tip of the finger just in case well we'll see if that helped any it might need more uh finger than that but we'll see there we go we're good let's do it again moisture starting to develop in my finger too. So let's put it higher. So you also need to make sure you position, I guess, enough of your finger inside the safe. I mean the scanner. You don't want to undercut the uh, fingerprint at all. So that's something to keep in mind. That worked. Let's go a little bit lower, see if it just the tip of the finger goes. No, it worked that time. But just, I guess, uh, you know, practice yourself and make sure you place it correctly. And so far, every time I've placed it correctly, it's been 100%. Let's, uh, let's get the old moist finger going here. Definitely, yeah, it's definitely moist now. Good, open. As you can see, there's a nice amount of sweat on my hand. All right, my forehead's sweating, so I've got more sweat on my finger here, so let's see what happens. 
Ah, good job. So it's handling um, moisture very well. It seems to be operating uh, very well as long as I appropriately, you can even see there's a bit of uh, condensation on the actual scanner there. So it's functioning really well. Uh, I'd say it's about 100% as long as you got the positioning right. So what can you get in a Barska biometric safe? Now this is, they say a four rifle safe. Um, more like a four shotgun or a hunting rifle without the scope. Uh, mainly it's made for say a shotgun like this. This would be an appropriate thing to use this safe for. And I imagine you could very well put in four of these types of shotguns in. It fits very nicely. Now when it comes to actual um, like ARs or AKs, it's not gonna be what I would say an appropriate fit. Um, it's going to be things that you're going to be putting sideways, say with this AR, you can get one in with a mag, I wouldn't recommend that. A second one, this would be more or less just a storage option only, not a defensive type safe, but I do have videos to make on other products that are made for more uh, defensive types of safes, but as you can see, you can store them in there they will close uh, the top part let's see if this glock 21 will fit it too it is a bit of a tight fit you can get it in there now uh i have two ars here with me but i can stuff three ak's in this thing if it's just something you need for storage and you have a collection of ars and ak's or whatever i just uh <laughs> it's not going to fit them appropriately, but you can get them in there as we'll stuff some AKs in here uh, without the magazines. But I can fit three AKs in here. As you can see, it's just a makeshift type of storage situation. This is not something you'd want to retrieve in the bump of the night scenario. But there is. Three AKs in there without magazine. And actually, let me adjust it a little bit. I think this hand is sticking out there. Here we go. So here we go. It is shut. So ideally, it's going to be for your shotguns, for your rifles. And if in an emergency situation, you need to store your ARs, or some AKs, you can do that as well. All right, in conclusion, uh, so far, I think when it comes to the scanner, it seems like it's a pretty trustworthy little scanner here. I didn't have any problems so far. Let's do it one more time because they've it's definitely not been 100%. Uh, I do trust the scanner so far. Uh, if you're a little bit paranoid about it, you can always just push that down and leave that open. You can use the barrel key. Now, when it comes to the size of the safe, you know, if you need more storage, RPMB uh, it's going to be your best bet there if you need an actual, you know, AR, AK type of thing. Even though you're not going to be able to necessarily put the magazine, but it's more of an appropriate fit. Um, the Barska is made better for uh, like hunting rifles without the scopes or shotguns and whatnot. And in emergency situations, you can store some uh, AKs or ARs in there. But uh, size-wise, yeah, it's a pretty big difference there. Uh, so I like the safe. It's functioning well, and I do recommend it. Uh, I'm going to have other safes. Uh, pistol safes other uh, types of rifle safes wall safes uh, more for like tactical situations so look for those videos so until next time i'll see you then